Hello everybody, welcome to Barca Times on YouTube here. Hello my fellow coders, welcome back to the second month of this year, 2024, February, with the Barcelona transfer news. Right now, we have right here to share. Of course, we've discussed a lot about Femin Lopez when it comes to his registration in La Liga and also in the FC Barcelona side. And then we talk about Lucas Bevo transfer update to Barcelona. And then the last person is going to be Ferran Torres. Injury news he did hard yesterday against Osasuna. Uh, this and many more bars and news we will discuss right here in today's video. But before we do start, if today is the first time being on my YouTube channel and as a Barca fan, you want to get Barca news, videos, pictures, everything about football club Barcelona, then I'll be happy and also much appreciated if you guys subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to like this video. Last but not the least, don't also forget to comment in this video. Under this video, I'll be very, very much appreciated if you guys do all of these things. So without time wasting, let's get started with today's Barca news we have right here. And so we start today news with this our left back Ariandro Baude. And if you are a subscriber in this channel, I've already given an update regarding Ariandro Baude's injury. You know, this player was supposed to travel to Finland to have a surgery and official confirmation from Barcelona. And Barca they said officially Ariandro Baude have undergone his surgery successful in his tendon in his right hamstring. So officially Baude have undergone his surgery successful that he was supposed to travel to Finland to have that surgery. Barca have confirmed it to all coolers, all Barca fan that officially Baudi have now undergone a surgery successful and you can have a look at the time Baudi was traveling back from Finland to Barcelona in the airplane with his crutches beside him. So Baudi have successfully undergone his surgery. We wish him speedy recovery. You know, Baudi will not play for Barcelona this season again. His season with Barcelona is over. We are going to see Baudi next season with Barcelona. We wish him speedy recovery and we wish Baudi to be back to his best that we know. So that is all about Ariandro Baudi. He has successfully undergone his surgery. And so all of you coolers, all of you Barca fans right here who watched yesterday game between Barca and Osasuna saw that in the first half of the game, Ferran Torres was supposed to be replaced by Femin Lopez and all because Ferran did get himself injury in yesterday game between Barca and Asasuna and this is a report we did receive from Tony Juan Marti and Tony Juan Marti did said after initial test on Ferran Torres Ferran it could be out for around a month. So Tony Juan Marti is saying Ferran with his yesterday injury is going to be out for a month and it is a bad news, a huge blow to Ferran himself and to all Barca fans because we all saw how shining Ferran was becoming scoring hat trick against Real Betis away from whom it was a good way for him but it didn't end up in a good way by Ferran getting injury in yesterday game against Osasuna. So Tony Juan Marti have given us a report that after initial test Ferran could be out for around a month. We wish him a spring recovery and it's a huge blow to Ferran Torres. And so Ferran is going to be out for a month, but this player, this is our center back, Inigo Martinez, after long out from Barcelona squad, this player is supposed to be ready for next game against Alaves away from home. So Inigo have now recovered from his injury and this player will be ready to face Alaves that is Barca next game away from home and it's a good news to all Barca fans and to Barcelona themselves because some of our players are getting injury while some of them are also returning to the squad. So Nico Martinez will be ready and be part of the squad that will travel to Fields Alaves that is Barca next game away from home you will play in La Liga. Joe Feles is also injury. You know this player did get himself injury during Barcelona training session and that's why some of you coolers who watched yesterday match between Barca and Osasuna saw that Joe Ferris did not play that much. It's all because this player is injury and test carry out that Joe Ferris is also going to be out for two to three weeks. But the plan for him is to be available against Napoli in the first leg away from home in the Champions League. So Joe Ferris is injury and is going to be out for two to three weeks. But the plan for him is that Joe Ferris will be available for the first leg against Napoli. And that is all about Joe Ferris. On the side of Femin Lopez, this looks to be a good news because right now Femin Lopez have been registered as a Barca first team player and his jersey number two have changed because Femin 
have been registered and now will wear the JC number 16. So if you watch yesterday's game, you can see Femin was wearing the number 16 in JC. It's all because Femin Lopez right now have been registered as a Barca first team player. So Femin will no longer return to the senior or the junior side or Barca Athletic anymore. Femin is now a first team player for FC Barcelona. He's now part of Barca senior team and will no longer return to Barca Athletic anymore. So these two of our key players are set to return and they are Rafinha and Mark andre Testegen. And on the side of Mark andre Testegen, this is our goalkeeper, our first goalkeeper, is supposed to return in a game against Granada. That pass will play on 11th February. So one week more for Testegen to return to be part of Barcelona squad. And on the side of Rafinha Akantara, Rafinha is also supposed to return on a Barcelona game. They will play on 17th February against Seta Vigo away from from home. So Mark and Testegen will return on 11th February while Rafinha will also return on 17th February. Gerard Romero have also given his report concerning this our defensive midfielder Oreo Romeo and Gerard did say Romeo has asked to leave Barcelona but Barca idea is to not let Romeo leave due to injury crisis so Romeo have asked Barcelona is okay it's over let me leave the club but Barca idea is that they will not let Oreo Romeo leave because a lot of Barca players are injury so that is a report we received from Gerard Romero that Romero Romeo, Uru Romeo have asked Barcelona that it's okay, it's over, let me leave the club. But Barca is not going to support that and they will not allow Romeo to leave the club due to injury crisis Barcelona are facing right now. And so we are on the one of the names Barca want to sign him in the summer and this is a report we did receive from FF Puru and FF Puru did say that Barcelona want to tie it up with Alex Garcia for the summer and I intended to see an agreement with Girona as soon as possible. Some source says his really cross is 20 million euros while others also see it is 14 million euros. Barca could include Pablo Torre, Eric Garcia, or Oreo Romeo in the D. So that is a report we received from FF Puro that Barca want to sign Alex Garcia in the summer and are intended to see an agreement with Girona. So Barca could include one of their players who are also playing on loan with Girona, like that of Alex Garcia or Eric Garcia, sorry, or Pablo Torre, who is also a Barca player but playing on loan with Girona. So that is all about. What FF Puro did say consent to Alex Garcia transfer to FC Barcelona that Barca could sign him by including one of their players who's also playing on loan with the Girona Football Club. And so right now there is an update regarding Lucas Bevo transfer to Barcelona because in the last time in my last video I show you a post from Fabrizio Romano that Barca have presented their offer that is 7 million euros plus 3 million euros add-on so in total it's 10 million euros and that was exactly amount you got in we're asking whatever club who are interested in signing Lucas Bevo from their team so this time out there is an update that um both um, Barca and you got in have agreed so it's up to the player to said yes to Barcelona then everything will be signed and Torium Hospet in the Premier League are also doing their best because Fabrizio said they are also contacting the player every hour trying to convince him trying to convince Lucas Bevo trying to hijack his D to Barcelona for Lucas Bevo to sign for Torium Hospet and you know Premier League transfer window have closed so Barca now remain positive that at the end Lucas Bevo will say yes and sign to the club so that is all about Lucas Bear for transfer update to Barcelona and that is all for today. If you guys find this video very helpful, please just take a second and then subscribe to this my YouTube channel because doing it is going to help me build this my small and humble channel. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. But until then, Vishka Barca, Vishka Catalonia. I thank you guys for all of your support and also for watching this video.